Hey there. We are finally on another adventure. About time. <laughs> I am so excited. This has been long awaited. It's not, we're not even going far from home. How far is it, babe? Uh, an hour and 40 minutes. Hour and 40 minutes. And to the town of Whitefish. And we're just going to have a few days of just doing whatever we want, relaxing or having fun, doing whatever we want. We've been, we had this planned for our 16th wedding anniversary and it did not get done. Uh, the dates got changed and now we're finally going and I'm so excited. I know it's only an hour and 40 minutes away, but it's like we're going to Cancun or something. <laughs> and it's just Priscilla and I, that's why we're so excited. Yeah. We love our kids, but you know, sometimes it's super important just to have yep. time with your spouse and get away and have a little getaway. So it's been a busy time. And Yeah. I feel like if you have, if you actually get to have, spend some one-on-one -on -one time with your spouse, it helps you be a better parent. Yeah, for sure. So anyways, we're going to get this guy a haircut. He's got some shaggy hair. This is the longest hair I've had in my life and it's driving me crazy. You could you could put it in a ponytail. We were gonna have we were gonna do this a month ago and I was gonna get a haircut. Usually Priscilla gets gives me haircuts, but she It just didn't get done. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get it done. So we I guess I'll have to find a place in Cattlesville to give me a haircut or whitefish. So, yeah, you've noticed, probably noticed my long hair. It's crazy. I'm not used to having long hair like that, but <laughs> looking forward to getting it sliced. Yeah, I, I always usually give all the guys haircuts in our house and saved a lot of money doing that, but yeah. Yeah, that is, that is a good point. It does save a lot of money. <laughs> and I like saving money. Yeah. <laughs> so, we'll probably just be giving you a few clips here and there of our adventure yeah well, we'll we're get gonna away. be doing some fun stuff one thing we're just gonna sleep for like the first <laughs> day maybe yeah because we've been tired yeah uh, but we're gonna do some fun things Priscilla wants to do some shopping I'll go to Cabela's <laughs> that's super important yeah. and well maybe we'll go do a fun thing together and just hang out I brought my guitar yeah we're working on a song that Priscilla wrote a while back we got to finish it mm -hmm. and we want to record a couple more videos yeah uh, that we haven't uh, in mind to do. We, if we get it done, we're going to do two videos, sit down videos and talk about our family and about some of our recent happenings. Mm -hmm. So you can look forward to that in the next couple of videos. I have a bunch of videos to edit that I got to get on. Um, we Hopefully we can get that done and uploaded. So there will be a deluge of videos coming shortly because there's, I don't want to get them too outdated. We just haven't had time to finish editing everything. So hopefully you'll see more videos coming just rapidly sh soon. Yeah. Yeah. There's been a lot of things happening and uh, a lot to let you guys in on so but yeah. we're excited to bring you along It's gonna be a fun time mm -hmm. Yeah, I am I am excited to go shopping <laughs> Here in the town that we live or that we live about 10 miles from town and our town does not have one clothing store except for some thrift shops so um, and I can I'll, I'll I do some shopping online, but it's just fun to physically go in a store and try on your own clothing and know that you for sure want to get it. So yes, I'm kind of a shopper for clothes, but actually I don't do it that much. <laughs> I'll let you in on a secret. I do not like shopping at all. I know. I have a, I have, when I go to town, I only go to town when I have a list. And then I go into like Ace, Ace Hardware and I go like a bloodhound from aisle to aisle on checking off my list until I've got everything I need that I exit and go home. Yep, that's him. I do not like shopping. I'm bored. That's why those little, you know, those little benches for, for uh, in, like in clothing stores, you see little benches around. That's for all the guys while their wives shop because <laughs> they're bored to <laughs> silly. Yeah, yeah. We'll have fun. But I do like to go to Cabela's sometimes, just browse through and see what latest is they've got in there and I've got a couple items I might want to purchase so I'm kind of looking forward to going there for like but just not long like 30 minutes go in look around see if I need anything and leave actually he can spend quite a long time in, in uh, like hunting and fishing section <laughs> 
But yeah, sorry if this is really bumpy because we're driving and it's kind of hard to hold it steady. Priscilla and I had dinner at this beautiful place right here. It's beautiful. Look at that Virginia creeper crawling up there. It's actually a, a big hotel. And they also have a restaurant in here. It's right on Whitefish Lake. And it's really a pretty area here. Whitefish is the town I was born in. And I always have this certain affinity. All the architecture is like this. It's really unique. It's like early American slash modern. And it is, it's really beautiful. So it's a cool place to be. Kind of Swiss looking. Well, this morning we took a short walk down here to uh, Whitefish Lake. It's about, uh, I don't know, a two minute walk from where we're staying. I'll show you around. It's a real pretty lake. And up there you can see that it doesn't look very big from here, but it's actually a really big mountain. It's called Whitefish Mountain. It's a big ski area, a very popular tourist uh, place in the summer. You can bike ride all those trails. That's only like half the mountain. The other side's on the back. Actually, you probably only see like probably a third of the mountain right now or a quarter of it because it just goes on up. It's way, way taller. But yeah, it's a really, it's a really nice. It's just all full of mountains and hills around here. This is a popular uh, vacation area. All, all the houses up there on the hills is just dotted with houses, probably mostly vacation homes, second homes. It's a high-end, expensive area to live in. And up there on that hill over there, there's... Uh, more homes up there with the beautiful views of the lake. Look at this beautiful home right here. It's absolutely beautiful. I love architecture. I love always looking at, because that's my trade is building. And I always think, how did they build those? See those big trees in the front? How did they get all those building supplies down there with those trees there? And I think those trees probably have been there since the beginning because they're so tall and old and the house looks pretty new. That's pretty cool. Good morning. We just got back from a, a walk to the lake and now we're at Montana Coffee Traders. It's Our a, favorite place. Yes, it's the best coffee shop ever and the best coffee. Oh, uh, they've got this thick cream on top. It's just absolutely delicious. Hashtag Montana Coffee Traders. <laughs> so they have organic coffee, which is also really nice. Yeah. And it just has a great taste. We actually use their coffee at home. Yeah, we do. We sell it at our store, at our Amish Farm to Market store. Mm -hmm. And here is an amazing quiche. I always get their quiche when we um, come here. There is something else. I don't even know what that is. A boca. It's really good. You probably know what that is, but I don't know what it is. <laughs> I've never had it before. <laughs> so we're just really enjoying ourselves. We're not nearly getting all, all the footage, but it's because... It's our getaway. <laughs> yeah. It's a neat little quaint coffee shop here in downtown Whitefish, Montana. All right, we'll catch you later. We just came away from a sushi place and- It was delicious. It was really good. It was just not enough. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what's up with these restaurants that charge exuberant amounts and give you like enough that a four-year-old could scarf down. I don't get it. It's like, I want some food. It's so good, but it's like, oh man, I'm still hungry when I leave. Yeah. <clears throat> so today we were, I, I did a lot of shopping and Joe's did a little bit. <laughs> I went to Cabela's. Yeah. Actually, I had uh, my good friend working here in, in this uh, close to here. So I went down and saw him for a little bit. Yeah. And then in the afternoon, we just relaxed out by the house that we're staying at. And uh, by the way, did you want to tell them that we're staying at a house? Oh yeah, so uh, a couple months ago, we I did a little, uh, part of the, one of the videos I did was restained a house. And uh, in that gentleman uh, that was a client of ours and he's, a uh, really nice man. Um, I won't say his name just for the sake of him. Um, anyways, he offered that we could stay in his house. 
uh, here in Whitefish. He's got, it's like a 5,000 square foot house. And he's very, um, it's amazing. He allowed us to stay in there for, we're staying here for three nights. And it's just so nice. It's quiet, nobody's around. They don't live in it right now. And we can just stay in there and just chill. So I took a little nap this afternoon. It was, yeah. it was awesome. Yeah. So we're just driving home from the sushi place. And it's about 10 o'clock in the evening. And we're gonna just chill and go to bed soon. <laughs> Yep, probably have some midnight snacks and oh, yeah, we have a re finish we have, a movie. Yeah, we have to go home and, and finish eating. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to eat ice cream, but uh, we had ice cream last night, so we thought we'd better give it a break. We, yeah. we brought a bunch. Priscilla brought some nice wine and some snacks and some yep. cheese and stuff along, so we'll, we'll have some mm -hmm. snacks. Yeah, we just talked with the kiddos. We call them every night and multiple times throughout the day. Yep. They call us and yeah. Very nice. All right, good night. Wow, we woke up this morning and look at this. Isn't this amazing? This is August. It's pouring rain. It was not expected to rain. It's awesome. Love it, love it, love it. Thundering. I thought there was, uh, I wasn't sure if it was thunder or jets taking off from the airport. Quite a ways off from here, but it just kept going. It's incredible. Wonderful, it's a blessing having rain in August. Hardly ever happens. Crazy. Now I started hailing. Look at the hail jumping around. That's amazing. Hailing in August. Awesome! We gotta do this sometime! Woohoo! Dance in the rain! Ah! So awesome! Guys, that was so much fun. It was so refreshing getting up out of our bed, running out the door and just getting wet, getting wet from the rain. Yep. I don't know if I've ever actually done that in my life. That is, <laughs> that's too bad. I felt like a little kid out there. It was, it was yeah. really fun. I did it a few times. It's so refreshing. You have to do it if you've never done and it. It's just warm out there. It's probably like 75, 80 degrees right now. This is so fun. Time for some coffee. Yep. Okay, we got our coffee, we got dried off, and we got our coffee, at, and we got these amazing crepes. I've never had one before, but they're like, uh, mine is like smoked salmon, mm -hmm. spinach, and good stuff, and what did you get? Pesto? Yeah, it was like a pesto spinach with some jalapeno bacon in it. It sounds really, sounds good. really good. We found this little shop, we didn't know it was here. Called amazing crates. Yep. So we love to find little places like this. Little nooks and crannies. <laughs> so we're about to enjoy it. Yep. So we're going down to the water and take a dip in the water. Do some swimming. After the rain this morning, it turned out to be super humid and warm again. Probably 95 degrees out. Yep. So we want to go cool off. Priscilla and I are just getting ready to head into this rustic looking restaurant. Yep. So, it's our last night. Yep. So we're kind of dragging it out as much as we can. We had a good day today. Yeah. So here we go. Pulling away from the restaurant, I asked Priscilla, well, what do you want to go do now? Should we have dessert <laughs> or watch a movie? And we just had to <laughs> laugh because. We have such a full agenda right now. We don't know what to do with ourselves. We have five children that yeah. literally we're just so occupied with them that it's, mm -hmm. this is like the weirdest thing. Like we don't have anything to do right now. We don't have to go 
do something with the animals or yeah with our children it's just like it's such a strange feeling it is and it's really good it just rejuvenates us and it is so um good. i would just encourage any couple to do that especially couples who have smaller kids i know it's really hard to get away hard to get yeah. babysitters it's a challenge to do all that but yeah, it's so worth it yeah i would just try and make it work and it's it's just a lot of fun and i'm ready to go back home and enjoy my kids again yeah and i think a lot of times it seems uh, when the children are grown and then couples have hard times because they've spent all their time investment or so much of it pouring into their children they didn't take mm -hmm. time for each other and then when the children are gone it's like they don't know each other anymore and they they mm -hmm. uh, tend to fall apart it seems like a lot so I just encourage you uh, if you have children or if you don't have children uh, take time with your spouse I think it's yeah. so crucial uh, to get to know each other, you know, and and just talk and yeah, without so <clears throat> any interruption. Right, <laughs> because we we're talking at home and we try to have the children teach them to not, you know, interrupt. But still, you know, they come in and the, let's say we're talking, having a discussion, and mm -hmm. they come in from outside and they want to tell us something, Dad, Mom, you know. So it's it's hard to have a conversation that <laughs> mm -hmm. has a beginning and an end to it sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's all really good. This is just a wonderful yeah. time. It's a beautiful evening. Yeah. It's uh, 83 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. It's just, I love whitefish. I know I've said this 10 <laughs> times already probably, but um, I don't know what it is. It's just the architecture. It's the, yeah, it's just the architecture and the... It's just the feel of the place. Yeah, it's you just, know, every mm -hmm. place that you go or I don't know that's how we feel about it is you get a feeling about a place like mm -hmm. a town or even even I think there's a so it's like each person has a gifting and and we all have different gifts that we bring and, and uh, I think that's so that's the way it is for even countries states mm -hmm. uh, cities towns areas maybe communities right and this particular place it just, I don't know what, they all give you a different feeling, but it's kind of, it's really neat to come here. Mm -hmm. It's just uh, a lot of rock work, a lot of timber work. Yeah. Probably takes us back to our roots and even further back to where we came from in our, our ancestors, Switzerland and Germany. Mm -hmm. And just a lot of the architecture looks like that. And so mm -hmm. it's pretty cool. Yeah, so we'll probably go in and finish our movie and go out for late night ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. What a hard life right now. Yeah. But tomorrow we go home, yep. back to normal, but that's good. Mm -hmm. no, that's good. And then uh, Monday morning I have to get up about 4.30 to go to work, work yeah. on a roof. And uh, we've got to get a head start because it's going to be pretty warm. So we need to work uh, early and quit early. Yeah. So we get it done. But it's good. This is refreshing. It's what I need to pre get prepared for that. Mm -hmm. Well, here we are again, being real foodies. Uh, there's our delicious lattes that they made for us this morning and they are so delicious yeah. so this is our last morning mm -hmm. and we're heading home to the kiddos today yeah. <laughs> okay we are headed home yes we are <laughs> we didn't get too much footage on this trip but it was our time. I hope you still enjoy it. And we did uh, shoot a couple videos for you guys while on this uh, getaway. So right. stay tuned for that. And we are looking forward to seeing our children again. Yep. <laughs> and, he, and he has to go to work bright and early in the morning. It's going to be a hot one. But then towards the end of the week, on the weekend, we're gonna take off, go camping with the whole family. Yeah. <laughs> so we wanna get as much as summer of summer in as possible yeah. before the fall hits. Okay, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Yep.